So you've decided to try a Facebook Live. Good for you. But maybe you don't know how to structure your script or how to engage your audience. Well, then you are in the right place because I'm going to go over the five essential elements that you need to include in order to have a successful Facebook Live. And that is coming up next. Hey, welcome back. It's Tracy with VideoScriptSuccess.com, where I help you take your scattered but brilliant ideas and turn them into engaging videos that convert. Listen, I need you to hit that subscription button and that notification bell if you want to get all of my tools, tips, and tricks for making great online videos. Okay, last week I talked about YouTube versus Facebook Live. Who's the winner? Which one should you use? And if you missed that video, hop on back after this guy and check it out because I promise it was not only helpful, it was hilarious. But today I want to break down the structure of a successful Facebook Live video. Okay, I want to dive right in and start with number one, which is an attention grabbing headline. I'm including this in your script structure because if you do not have what I call a thumb scroll stopping headline, no one's going to show up to watch. No one's going to stop to watch your video, right? So what is an attention stopping headline? Well, I'll give you an example of a good one. A good one would be five essential elements you must have to have a successful Facebook live. People will show up. A bad example would be the script structure of a Facebook Live. Boring, no one cares. They wanna know what are the essential things they need to include, right? So make sure you really put some thought into that headline. And the second essential element for your Facebook Live video is your intro. Now listen, this is where YouTube videos and Facebook Live videos start to divert. A YouTube video, you want your intro to be a hook. And I'm going to go over all of that next week. But with your Facebook Live video, you want to welcome your audience, have a conversation with them. Remember, this is a social platform, so be social. Make sure you engage and entertain them. Tell them a story that relates to the topic that you're going to be covering that day. That way you can then launch right into essential element number three, and that is to teach. Teach them something. Now the teaching element is where you add value to your audience's life. So please people, no video vomit, video vomit, video vomit, right? I do not want you to just keep talking and teaching and going off, right? You need to have this very structured. Listen, I don't care if your teaching component is five minutes or 20 minutes, but it needs to be thought through so that your audience sticks around and feels like they're getting value, right? These are the right downables, the things that they're going to walk away and say, wow, that was a great Facebook Live. I really got a lot of value out of that. And then you can launch right into your essential element number four, which is the recap, right? You don't really do this on YouTube videos, but in Facebook Live, you wanna remind them of all the value that they just got. And so you wanna recap each of those teachable elements that you want them to walk away with. And that is such a wonderful, wonderful transition to number five. And the fifth essential element is your CTA or call to action. Okay, please do not stop recording until you have given your audience something to do, right? You have them there. Now you want to give them even more value. I don't know, give them a download, a little cheat sheet, a Thrive On Live cheat sheet where they can hang it up right next to their desk so they know exactly those five essential elements you need to go live. By the way, if you check my description, I've got that there for you. So listen, you want them to go away with something, right? So let's say you're in the transformational space and you've just talked to your audience about how important meditation is. Challenge them. Ask them to meditate for just two minutes every single day. That's a great call to action. Listen, I love Facebook Live. I love it for so many reasons, but one of them is it's pretty informal and very forgiving. You do not have to have a highly produced video. You can make mistakes. You can stumble around. People will still love you as long as you're giving them value. And you give them value by thinking through the structure of your Facebook Live. And here's a little helpful hint for you. It is common for people not to show up 
when you're alive, but I want you to deliver it as if there are hundreds of people there because people will catch it on the replay and you can also use that live and turn it into a Facebook ad to gain more followers. Oh, speaking of followers, I would love for you to follow me. So here's what I need you to do another CTA, by the way, I want you to hit that pretty red subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any tips, tools, and tricks for making great online videos. I will see you right here next week. <laughs>